Men för mig som ni kallar det alla, jag har bara som jag själv, bara som jag har kallat det. Jag har bara en stor post av skrivna stål, en sälj till tjänst av alla, där för sin historik har sin sjukdom och tjol. Men det är bra jag har här, från mig som jag har sett mig i det här. Here once again with another quick lesson. And this one was inspired by going for a jog. And it's been a while since I've basically done the activity of jogging. So I can understand that my body was not in the in a very conditioned state of how it would normally be when you been when you have been jogging consistently. And what happened was that I was fatigued easily. I got fatigued easily. Lactic acid developed in my muscles quite easily. Um, I got the itching feeling from when lactic acid developed in your muscles and it was very strainful. It was a difficult task to accomplish the, the distance that I would normally, normally go. But what, there was one thing that kept me going, right, which was a mindset that I need to accomplish a particular distance. It was a mindset that basically kept me going to, to endure. The, the, the difficult aspect of accomplishing the task right and relating that that um, experience to, a, to the spiritual aspect of things it basically brought me back to the to the idea right that that this truth that we are all a part of that that um the, the men that are out here in the highways and the byways are a part of this truth is also a race right and it's a race that we need to endure paul referred to it as a race when you read the book of first corinthians 9 and 24 paul said know we not that they which run in a race run all but one receive it the prize so run that he may obtain and this is a very this is, this is a very um solid instruction by the apostle paul because you have to run that you may obtain right you have to run with a particular mindset he continues and he says and every man that strive it for mastery is temperate in all things being temperate the word temperate means to have self-control and to have self-control is not only is, is not basically a physical thing it's a mental thing so this this journey this 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 event this race that we're a part of it's a mental thing it you have to be mentally fortified to accomplish the feat that is at uh, that is at hand right so paul continues and said no they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we are incorruptible so there are people who are part of the world who are in what you would call the rat race right the race to accomplish um goals and accomplish um wealth and opulence in this life but we aren't a part of that race we are a part of what you call the the race to obtain an incorruptible crown the race to obtain something that moth and, and rust do it not corrupt right that's the race that we're a part of and to be a part of that race it takes it takes a constant sense of endurance it takes a well-rounded mindset right that's it that is what it, that is what it nece is necessary right and even though when we might be out of it for a while even though when we might not not be not not have that, that, that strength and that stamina, that physical strength and that stamina to, to push as all would normally push. The scripture tells in the book of Proverbs 24, 24 verse, verse 16, what does it say? It says, A just man falleth seven times and rise it up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. So a just man will always have the mindset that he needs to get up. A just man will always have the mindset that we need to keep pushing, right? Because at the end of the day, it's all about that endurance. It's all about putting yourself on the front line to accomplish a particular task, to stay in the truth, right? So the race is not for the swift men, but for those who can endure, right? 
jump into the book of um, Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10. Chapter 10 verse 35. You say, Cause. Second, not 35, but 36. It says, For ye have need of patience that shall after that shall after ye have done the will of God ye might receive the promise now when you go into that word patience right there that word patience goes back to being consistent right it goes back to being steadfast consistent it also goes back to endurance right that's what it goes back to so when you read it from that standpoint it says for you have need of what consistency you have need of endurance that shall after you have done the will of God might receive the promise right so you have to put yourself in the mind frame of being consist consistent right you have to be constant you have to endure you have to make your mind hard that whichever pains you're going through in the life in this life you always get back up and start to push ahead to the promise right jump into the book of um james 1 and 12 what does that say james chapter 1 verse 12 says what it says blessed is the man that endure temptation and temptation basically referring to the trials that you might be going through whatever groaning pains you might be going through you have to endure that so the scripture said blessed is the man that endure temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life for the Lord had promised to them that love him right so when we're going through this race there is going to be obstacles there's going to be things that tries to limit us from crossing that finishing line from obtaining that crown of life right as i said as i said before i started to feel some pain and that, that that's that's not normal because i was not conditioned but apart being a part of the truth the more you endure the more you, you maintain that sense of consistency the more the trials become less effective um you, the more you become less affected by the trials right so you have to be stay in a in a conditioned state of mind within this truth right jump into the book of romans chapter 2 verse 7 what does that say it's like a 2 verse 7 it says what to them who by patient continuous in well-doing continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality eternal life right and that is what we will get man at the finishing line man. at the finishing line of this race of the at the finishing line of this um spiritual race we will get immortality and eternal life and that is worth fighting for that is worth going through all the trials and tribulation that we have to face right and it is it is worth it man right the groaning pains is worth it whenever you buck your toe you fall down you, you fall into a state where you feel like you might not get back up but you have to get back up man you have to keep on pushing right because at the end of the day the reward is is well worth it man. so with that i want to say kalalal yahawa bashem yashai bashem akar khodash the balance to the hills and the apostles of grim stone and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and truth. Shalom.